In this video, I quickly wanted to cover the 15 geometry formulas you need to know for the ASVAB and PyCAT. On the actual ASVAB and PyCAT, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator, so you do have to commit these formulas to memory at some point. And if you want to test yourself, it'd be a good idea to pause the video and see how many of these you could write down yourself. That said, I'm going to go through them one by one. Area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is one half base times height. Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs of the right triangle and c is the hypotenuse. You have to know that there is a predefined relationship between the diameter and radius of a circle. More specifically, you have to know that the diameter is always twice as long as the radius. That is d equals 2r. You have to be able to calculate the area of a circle. That's going to be pi r squared. For circumference of a circle, you have to know that there are two formulas, notably pi times diameter or circumference is 2 pi r. You have to be able to calculate the perimeter of a square. Again, that's going to be 4 times its side length s. You have to be able to calculate the area of a square. That's going to be its side length squared. You have to be able to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle. That's going to be 2 times its length plus 2 times its width. The area of a rectangle is length times width. To calculate the perimeter of any polygon, you simply add up all of the polygon sides. So again, to find the perimeter of any polygon, you're gonna add up all of its sides. Area of a parallelogram is base times height. Volume of a rectangular prism is gonna be length times width times height. Surface area of a rectangular prism, surface area is gonna be two length times width plus two length times height plus two width times height. Volume of a cylinder is going to be pi r squared times height. And finally, the slope of the line is going to be y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So if you couldn't write down these formulas as effortlessly as I did, that means you probably have a little bit more studying to do. Thankfully enough, on my YouTube channel, I have a playlist that goes through the ins and outs of each of these formulas. They're all available for free, so check those out if you haven't done so already.